And welcome back inside U.S. Bank Stadium where it is warm and dry on this snowy, wet day outside. And we're ready for a couple of undefeated teams. The 13-0 Hancock Owls making their first ever prep bowl appearance. Mountain Lake area back in the game for the second consecutive year. A lot of creative kickoff work by Hancock in the semifinals. They'll challenge you with kicks like this. And it is picked up at the 29-yard line. And Mountain Lake area will start at about the 35-yard line. In on the tackle, number two, Dalton Rose. Is customary in nine-man football. Most of these players go both ways. Here's the option to the outside. And Herrick trying to break it free down the sideline. He does have the first down. Finally dragged out of bounds. Hancock showing blitz. Stays rolling to the right. A room to run out there. Wants to throw it. Still on his feet here. What a play, and he completes the pass for a first down. And it's Harry who comes out of the backfield. He's very close to the marker. Looked like he came back over the line, but I think that would be enough. Well, watch how Abraham stays. Watch him buy time. And the other thing I love, Charlie, look at his head down the field. He's not trying to run. He's just buying time, making guys miss, all while keeping his head down the field. And by buying that time, great job, too. Mace Herrick finds some opening there. That's a big play on third and long. Incredibly young and very good. Out of the shotgun, going deep, and that one is caught. And that is Willoughby down by the 10-yard line, knocked down at the 11 by Brandon Kellenberger. They can get a first down, pardon me, inside the 1-yard line. Stace is going to roll to the right. Not a lot of places to go with it. Now goes back across the field. It's intercepted in the end zone by Daniel Mylander. What a hold for the Hancock Owls. They'll take over when we come back. Scoreless in the nine-man prep bowl. Lake area sniffing good field position after a three and out a fumbled snap Neathouse recovers it gets it away then gets knocked down and the punt's going to take a Mountain Lake area bounce and go out of bounds outside the 35 yard line no flag on the play who averaged nearly eight yards a carry this season Harry lost the snap here lost the, the handoff pardon me and Kellenberger falls on it two drives two turnovers for the Wolverines Un unreal fun you know they lost 14 fumbles coming into this game so very sure-handed three different ways he had a reception touchdown last week he returned a kickoff for a touchdown last week and eight more on the ground he had five in the quarterfinals and he gets a big chunk there up near the 30-yard line roll off out of the shotgun fakes the pitch this time looking downfield instead goes underneath and he finds his man that's Kellenberger and he has enough for the first down Ridden out of bounds by Adam Karshnick. This time is Timmerman straight up the middle, and he's got the wheels churning now. Has the first down, and he's whipped down at the 45-yard line, but has enough for the first. Two 4.0 students, and the third one is 3.6. Both of these teams very good academically across the board. Timmerman in the passing game now. Knocked down by Cade Crameen. Second down and seven from the 32. Roll off to throw. Looking down the field. Got a man. That's Mylander. And as he anticipated the hit, couldn't hang on. Abe Stace, who can bring it defensively, and he doesn't hold back. We have the All-State quarterback on the other side here today, but roll off is a very good player as he pitches to Timmerman. Hops over a man down the sideline. Stays in bounds, and if he can get a block, he might go. Stumbling down to the five-yard line. <laughs> what an effort. Again, showing that speed, but how about the ability to stay on his feet? Watch how low he gets. Great blocking, and that cutback. He keeps those feet driving, and he changes speed and direction so brilliantly. And look at that extra effort, diving for the extra yard. What a play. Saw that two weeks ago in the semifinals quite a bit. He gets to the sideline, then he stops and stays in bounds. Willoughby saving the touchdown there for Mountain Lake area, but it's first and goal. Hancock flew under the radar a little bit more. Here's a throw deep in the corner. Mylander, touchdown! What a throw. And I'll tell you what, Roloff put this where only Mylander could catch that. You see quarterbacks underthrow that. That could be a pick. What a gutsy call, gutsy throw, but just perfectly executed. Look at that catch. A great shot right there as he brings oh. it down, controls it. Looked like he actually got both feet wow. in. Big 0 for 2. 
Roloff in trouble, and he'll just throw it away, essentially, and they won't get the two, but they do have the lead. 6 nothing Hancock on this touchdown catch by Daniel Mylander, his 11th of the season. They're up here early in the second on 45 TV. Can you fight back and get back into this game? It's just the fourth touchdown Mount Lake Area's allowed in the first half all season long, and they had a big play there, unable to hold on to it with Sebastian Reynold for Stace and Wolverines. Throwing it back, it's intercepted. Matt Thompson, and he's going to drag people into the end zone. Oh my goodness, what a play. What an effort. <laughs> He's a big kid at 6'6", 185. 32 yards on the interception return, and he just read that throwback pass, trying to get it to Ethan Nickel. And then here comes the highlight reel play that you'll see for years to come. Oh, what a play. What a great play. You can see he sniffed that play out. That's something they had seen on tape, and... He did a great job staying home, getting in that passing lane, and then look at that. Look at the determination, just willing his way into the end zone for a pick six. And that was Stacy oh. dragged in there. We just talked yeah. about how good a tackler Stace is. And a tough customer, too. They go for two, and they get it. Kellenberger over the middle. And it's 14-0 handcuff. Mountain Lake Aries moved the ball all right on their three drives. Just the turnovers have been a problem. Now Stace with a little bit of room to the outside. And he's determined to get all the yardage he can. Run out by Kellenberger at the 36. There was some anger in yeah. that run run. Yeah, you could see that. He said, okay, this is enough. I've thrown a couple of bad throws. Now I'm gonna do what I do best. And watch him get to that second level, get to the outside. He's got great speed. But watch this angry finish. Instead of going out of bounds, you can see he's looking for contact. Set up here for Mountain Lake area. Stace will keep it. He's got a good hole again. Out to the right and down the sideline. And he'll be forced out of bounds. Inside the 15, he's down to the 11. Well, the one thing you can't do if you're Hancock is relax. Talented quarterbacks in the state. So you cannot let your guard down. And just like that, two plays, two big gains. A scoring opportunity. And you can see he gets to that second level, but then watch that lane to the outside. Hancock did such a good job those first two possessions of really limiting Abe Stace between the tackles. Hancock keeping an eye on that. He'll give it to Herrig, and he's got the hole, and he's got the end zone. And this was just power football right up the middle. Great kickout block, almost untouched into the end zone. Really nicely blocked up front. Mace Herrick does the rest. And they'll go for two. Oh, Not stick. this time. Dalton Rose right up in there. What a stick. And you can see uh, May Abe stays laying on the ground there. That's why you got to be physical with him. Gary Sloan, a wonderful coach, always does a great job. He was very, very positive on both of these teams, but especially Mount Lake area. Uh, Roll off tucking and... Never really had a chance to throw that football. A coverage sack there for the Wolverines. Mace Harry got it. And not having a seam to throw it to. Third and 17 for Hancock. They'll try the screen pass. Timmerman cutting it to the outside, staying on his feet, and nearly had it. Stace kept him from the first down. The two star players come together. Hurdle the defender there. That was just an amazing. He's electric when he gets that football. He just goes north and south so well. Look at him hurdle that. Stay on his feet. Here we go. Fourth and five. Roll off looking for it. Down the catch across midfield. And picking it up is Dalton Rose. The fullback comes out of the backfield. Well, what trust in your quarterback. Preston roll off fourth and five. Great job giving him time. And I love where his head is. His head is always down the field, and he's letting his receivers find that opening. Dalton Rowe is such a big player. That time he stopped Timmerman for a gain of one. Go back to Timmerman right up the middle. Good speed, and he's upended near the first down marker. And that's Stace throwing, him at the, throwing himself at the ankles there. Taking that away, but this is power football. Look at the seam in the hole right there. Charlie, 
you've lost some athleticism, but I think you could have picked up eight or ten yards on that play. Really well blocked up front. I think you overestimate my abilities. <laughs> Third down and short. And nowhere to go this time up the middle. Timmerman, though, fights for yardage. And we'll see how close he is. It's going to be very tight. Final moments of the first half. They go to Rose up the middle. He leans forward, and it's going to be close. Really depends on the spot. And I would imagine this is going to take a measurement. No, it won't. Mountain Lake wow. area holds. So there is a chance to go over the top if you think you've got a speed guy out there. Stays to throw. And he wants that deep shot. Looking for Willoughby, and he holds it in at the 22-yard line. Uh, great blocking up front. You give Abe Stays that kind of time. He's just got such a good arm. He throws this one perfectly. Pretty well defended right there. It looked like my... And just a little bit of separation right at the end. They came in 1980 when they were just Mountain Lake. Now it's Mountain Lake area. This is a cooperative. Into the end zone. Stace jump ball. Oh, that would have been some catch. Willoughby again jumping with Mylander. We saw a catch like that yesterday in the 1A game. Well, again, the, the thing I'm looking at is Stace being protected very well. He's got time to allow these deep routes to develop. And you know you got a lot of trust in someone when you just throw it up there. And Willoughby almost made a spectacular one-handed catch. Gets that big mitt on it and almost comes down with it. Would have been a Q Sports Center moment yep. if he hauled it in. Instead, it is third down and six from the 18. 24 seconds remaining. Here's the pitch play to Herrick. He'll have the first. Bangs his way inside the 10, and they can use another timeout now with 18 seconds left. No timeouts left for the Wolverines. Stays on play action. Floats it up. Got a man wide open. Caught for the touchdown. Adam Karshnik. How did he get wide open? That was just a great play. I think Karsnick looked like he was going to be blocking, and all the defensive backs lost sight of him. He just releases as an outlet and a great touch pass. And I'll tell you, that's one of those that's hard to catch, too. Karsnick, knowing you're wide open, great job hauling it in, getting both feet down. He's just that guy that leads us, does everything we need him to do, and they're going to fake it, throw to the end zone, and we are tied. <laughs> Karshnik again, and what a finish to this first half. Still have two seconds remaining. Well, what, a, what a throw by Abe Stace. You see him stand in the pocket with that defensive rush bearing down on him. He didn't panic. He stood there, took the hit, and just a beautiful throw. Watch him just stand there, knowing that it's collapsing around him. Great touch pass, and again, great concentration for the catch. Well, they may take a yeah. look at that one. There seemed to be a bit of a bobble. Do have video review, of course. Watch the ball moving as he comes out of oh, bounds. Yeah. Huh. We'll see. So far, we don't have any indication. If I'm Hancock, I'm calling for that. Oh, boy. Fantastic first half. Early turnovers costing Mountain Lake area. And some great catches in the end zone both ways between these two teams. Great fan support as well, despite the ugly weather outside. A great football game inside, and it's 14-14 at the half. Stay tuned for more. We'll head downstairs after this. Tied up at the half in the nine-man breath bowl on 45 TV. Hand off Timmerman. Big hole up the middle. Able to cut it to the outside. This is where he's really dangerous run down by Herrig and shoved out of bounds but into Mountain Lake area territory Take a little bit of that aggressiveness of that defensive line away and you can see those offensive linemen fire off the ball and he gets shot out like a rocket when he goes through that line of scrimmage second down and seven from the 31 Ruff, as he always is out of the pistol takes the pitch this time nowhere to go with it and he's sacked by Herrig back at the 36 yard line Mace Herrick's made some plays offensively, has the touchdown, but he's been big on defense today. Timmerman goes out wide to the left. Roll off down the middle, and he's got his man, Mylander, at the 19. He's got plenty of time. He's able to plant, and just the accuracy of this throw, 
He threw that. Look at that. It's got to go between two different levels, and it's got to be perfect on the money. And I'll tell you what, Mylander, watch him go down to grab this ball. When you're crossing the middle, you know you're going to take a hit. That is not an easy catch. Half stays not letting up at all, but Timmerman does pick up the good yardage, like Ryan said. And right now, Roloff's going to lose some because Herring tracks him down again. Like you said, Charlie, making his impact felt on defense. And again, that's just one of those where, where Roloff, you want to try to get rid of it, avoid the negative yards. Offense is really moving. Now you put yourself in that third and really, really long. It's easier said than done when you got Mace Herrig and his speed coming at, after you. Guys in the secondary, their eyes are getting big. They're looking for that ball. Roloff to throw on fourth and forever. To the back corner of the end zone. Jump ball, and it lands out of bounds. Aiming for Mylander. Was at five foot nine. He was well covered that time by John Faber. Stays to throw. Want to set up the middle screen, and it's complete. But that shut down. Great play by Kellenberger. He didn't make yep. the tackle, but he had a hold of that jersey, and the receiver couldn't get anywhere. Nice response by the Hancock defense. Disappointing first offensive drive, and there will be no punt. Stays on the. Field. He's got the first down out across the forty. Oh, you could tell as soon as he caught that he was on a mission. He runs a little differently sometimes. When he runs angry, he just goes and he runs hard and physical and fast. And what a gutsy call. You don't get that. You give you give Hancock a very, very short field. So you talk about trust in your quarterback. Into this game with 15 catches, has two today for 48 yards. Stays on the quarterback draw. Spins off a couple hits and he'll set up third and short. We got a flag here late. We have not had many penalties in this game. We talked about how well played it was in the first half. Personal foul on the defense, number 44. 15 yard penalty result in the first down. And I think they're going to get the hit here right at the end. You're going to see this helmet to helmet shot right there. We got four on the play clock. Inside handoff to Harry. He's got the first. They're going after that football, and it did come out late, but I think he was already down. Dalton Rose come in unblocked, but they ran away from him. And this time, Herrig slips through that same hole, and he's inside the 10. Touchdown saving tackle by Mylander and Davin Rose. 50 seconds remaining in the third quarter. Third and goal. Stays up the middle. Bounces to the outside. Now it's a foot race. Stretching for the pylon. Touchdown! Oh. Great effort. That play's designed to go up the middle. Great job collapsing the defense there. But how about the patience? And then it's a foot race, and, and not many people are going to beat Abe Stace to the corner. Look at that extension with the ball, too. Seems a couple touchdowns. They take a quick look at this just to make sure he got in. That have featured a lot of will. Thompson getting into the end zone on that interception. This time just inside yeah. the pylon. That looks pretty good to me. Well, and it's always dangerous when you reach that pylon out, like that ball like that, because if you lose control of it, it can be a touchback, but that's just great, great strength. You got to have strong hands to hold on to the ball like that. What an effort. They will go for two. Stays looking for the pass. Wants the throw back. Not there. Back over the middle, and it is caught by Willoughby. 22-14, Mountain Lake area. And this has been a fantastic start to the day after a great... Ending of the day yesterday, a 4A game, fantastic. Christian Vassar with the great oh. 6A game. Here's a throwback, and Daniel Mylander down the far sideline. Stretches out for an extra yard or two. Dalton Rose, who's listed as a quarterback on this team with a nice pass, a lateral, and a big return for Hancock. Stace has in the passing game. Good protection up front, throws deep, and it's a first down. He's got his man down the sideline. Colby Crameen, the younger brother of Cade, a wide receiver, just his ninth catch of the year, and of course, none bigger. Well, what a great route. It's going to be hard to see here, but Brett Willoughby, number 15, ran right next to him, but he ran deeper, and he actually ran the two defensive backs for Hancock further down the field. Watch this great view right here. But See both defensive backs running with Willoughby, and that frees him up for the throw. What a beautiful throw. Great timing pass. What a big conversion there on third and really long. 
You know one of them is getting it on this play. And it will be Stace all by himself. Has the first down. Spins off a tackle. And a big, maybe touchdown saver that time. Coming back to the play, looked like Luke Jose. Watch him approach the line of scrimmage. A little bit more cautious, kind of seeing where that seam is. Then he makes that decision, hits the hole hard. And a great spin move. First and 10, ball at the 37. Very close to running that one all the way down. They give it to Willoughby, trying to go on the jet sweep. He gets to the outside. And he's inside the 30. Mountain Lake area's only state title in any team sport, 1930 boys basketball flea flicker that pitch back and roll off has to fall on it at the 29 yard line you have to wonder if this is a two down type of play down the middle he's got his man Kellenberger he's gonna get a big chunk of yardage fighting for more he's thrown back but he'll get it up to the 44 yard line it's a gain of 16 now this fourth down and much more considerable for Hancock. Well, I like the play call. You didn't have to go for a home run there. He's right down the middle. Great throw. Good hands there and trying to fight for some extra yards. But just very good tackling football team. Needing a stop. Roll off to throw to the outside and he miscommunicated that time with Luke Jones. It's a turnover on downs. And Jones was running a deep route. See, Joe's that was the double move. He took yeah. off right as the ball was coming, and it came right into your screen. Fourth down and two. This is the ball game. Stays out of the shotgun, calls his own number, leaning forward, driving. He has the first down. Oh, what an effort! Right up the middle, pretty well defended. But that's just leaning forward, and you think he's fired up after that? And Ryan, we wondered what would they be like if they were tested because they hadn't been all year long, and the coaching staff said that. And championship trophy. Congratulations to Mountain Lake area. Eight champions, class nine man football for 2019. Coach, you preached all season about being historic and history has been made. How did you guys come out with a victory at the end of this one? Because it was tight all the way through. First and foremost, give all the glory to God, both now and forever. Uh, next thing is we uh, talked about it all year. What are we gonna do when we're behind? We've never been behind. Uh, we didn't start real well, but uh, the guys kicked it in. The end of the first half was huge. And just battling very well coach that's uh, no offense to everybody else but that's the best coach team we played all year there's a reason they're here but the kids dug deep believed in each other went to various guys at certain plays colby Kermee making a big play a lot of guys making big plays and obviously we have our horses which is one standing right here but just that grit and determination that we came here to do something it didn't start off so well but we got it done um it's crazy i, I don't know how, I, right now i feel like i'm on i'm somewhere else but it's awesome thank you the community everybody else Coach, what was this journey like to lose the prep bowl last year, have an undefeated season coming into this one, and take home your school's first ever prep bowl title? Uh, it's unbelievable. Last year when we lost, obviously we played a very, very good team. Uh, we felt some off-season work. Filling some holes would be the key for us. A lot of kids stepped up, and the big thing is the kids believed. Uh, top to bottom, from the ninth grader to the senior, uh, we are a team. We believe each other and we did that all the way to the end here and uh, it is historic uh, this is gonna be one and I've dreamt about my life as a player and as a coach we've come close I've uh, been to state many times and now we got it it's just euphoric and uh, we're just glad we won coach your workhorse right here and Abe stays Abe you know this game you guys had a special team what was it about your guys's determination your grit you never gave up and you bring home your school's first title well, our motto all year was unfinished business and now we've finished that business and it feels great feels great how are you feeling you took a beating in this game I see your hand is swollen how are you able to play through that well you just have to keep the adrenaline going and you don't really feel anything when you're in the game I'll feel it after but right now I'm just on a high of winning you have a high of winning and it, a lot of it has to do with this coach next to you what's it been like playing for coach I mean bringing you guys that hardware oh he's best coach in the state I'd say it's crazy he takes our team he doesn't give the formations he forms them around us and fits them to our players you guys handled your unfinished business congratulations your school's first ever prep bowl title Appreciate it. thank you